can't not stand silent. Let it serve as a call to action for every lawmaker in our nation at every level. Yeah. What action do you, would you like to see Congress take? Well, I don't know that there's any law that can stop that evil that we saw that is just, I mean, just difficult to watch. Um, what strikes me is just the lack of respect for human life. Um, so I don't know that any law, any training, any reform is going to change. You know, they, 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 this man was handcuffed. They continued to beat him. Um, and I was actually reminded, I, it's hard to watch the whole thing, but as I watched it, I was reminded of when we had a hearing probably two years ago when, when George Floyd's brother came and testified yeah. in front of the Judiciary Committee. And it was one of those moments where fact and truth and emotion all came together. And he, he said something at hearings, actually during the questioning portion of the hearing, he said, life is precious. Mm -hmm. And it was one of those moments that grabbed everyone in that hearing, both, both parties, and the fact that we saw that these individuals, these five individuals, did not have any respect for life. And again, I don't think these five guys represent the vast, vast majority of law enforcement. But I don't know if there's anything you can do to stop the kind of evil we saw in that video. So uh, it sounds like you are not for any new federal regulation. Well